guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today, I'm going to take you on my apartment tour. So I live in Towers 3 at UCF. I live in the Burnett Honors Living Learning Community because I am in the Burnett Honors College. So yeah, I'm going to show you uh, my apartment. So two of my roommates have not moved in yet. They move in this weekend. Um, one of my other roommates who uh, you've met on my move-in uh, video, she's here, but we're going to show you what it looks like with the two empty rooms, what, like how they come, and then I'll show you our decorated rooms. So, yeah, let's check it out. Okay, so, down this hall and to the right, and then in the middle is the elevators and like vending machines and stuff laundry is down this hall and right at the, right at the end to the left which i'll go back in a minute because i'm in the middle of doing laundry and then down on the other side is the student lounge and stuff but we are down here on the corner these are our neighbors but this is our room so how it works is you put in your key and then i'm not going to show you but you have to put in your four digit code they give you and so yeah so we come in We've got our big whiteboard here. I've got a little, do you have all of your stuff? If we have a shopping list, we think that's gonna go up there. Um, but this is what it looks like when you first walk in. You can see a little bit out the window. I know I showed a little bit um, in some of my other videos. This is the common area. We haven't moved anything yet. Um, the ethernet cable's over there, so if we do need to hook up the TV, we'll just flip-flop the TV and the couch. We kind of just left everything how, how it is. Um, from our window, you can see the trash and the recycling. This is, that's Tower 4 over there. Um, and that's Parking Garage D. Um, over here, I don't know if you can see because the, sun, the sun's setting. Um, but Knights Plaza is over there, and then it goes around. Um, so way over in the distance is the student union, way, way, way over there. Um, Memory Mall is right over there, if you're familiar with that, if you're looking at a map or what have you, um, just for reference. So then this is the kitchen. We bought our microwave, we bought the toaster, I've got my coffee pot, I've got my water bottle, I bought the kettle, the clock on the stove is wrong it's the microwave is the one that's right so it's off by like half an hour haven't been able to set it yet but um don't really know how it comes with a fan thing they really want you to use but we didn't even know that <laughs> until recently um over uh well this is our side Liv, Liv and i um this is our pantry we've stocked it up a bit i've got a drying rack i brought this is our vanity area i did clean it up since moving um if you have seen that video, <laughs> I've cleaned it up some. My popcorn maker, popcorn popper. We do have a dishwasher. Our dishwasher is super intense. Like it comes out sizzling literally, um, super hot, super forceful. Like we have like cups and bowls that flip in there. So we have a working garbage disposal, super cool. There's Liv. Hey. <laughs> so then we're gonna go over to our roommate's side who are coming in this weekend. I did get their permission. This this is our their vanity area. This is where they'll have it, um, so, and that's their bathroom. And I'll show you our bathroom. Um, yeah. So then this is room C. Live in our A and B. We just moved um, Sam's bed here. Originally it was up against this wall, um, but this, we texted her pictures, and this is what she said she wanted. We've got the dresser and the closet and the window that. Pretty much has the same view, just probably a better view of the dumpsters from over here. Um, so yeah, that's what um, the bare room looks like and what it comes with. And you can move it however you want, like, um, you'll see how mine's set up. And if you've seen my other video, you saw that I changed it. This is the other room, room D. This is what I thought we were going to get. Um, with how the window is opposite the door and then the uh, closets on either side based on the floor plan they have online, but that's not actually what we got. Um, but yeah, pretty basic, same stuff. Uh, not too bad. She has the same view over on this side in D with the dresser. So that's pretty cool. 
One thing I did notice is that their drawers, like their single drawers are on the outside and ours are on the inside, which I'll go show you now. Um, but yeah, I bought a nice recycling bin because we love to recycle. There's the thermostat. It does get pretty chilly. Oh, the freezer does not come with an ice maker. So we have these reusable ice cubes we put in stuff. I've got a cup full of ice that I empty now and then and some ice trays. Um, come on, open. This is how the fridge comes. We had uh, Domino's for dinner. Um, just got some shelves and some little things for lunch meats and drawers and whatever. This is what I was saying, the, the single drawers on the inside, so it's a little, a little whack, but whatever. We've got this thing here. We think it's because we're on the corner. Our neighbor to the other side has it too. Um, but we just, I put like the beach towels and we put extra stuff there. We'll see if um, our other roommates want to put stuff there. This is our bathroom. We've got our towel racks. We've got our little trash can that matches the colors. Uh, we bought this and put this together, this little tray here for extra toilet paper, um, my speaker, uh, my extra towels. A nice shower curtain. It does not come with a shower curtain, so make sure you bring your own if you're in towers. I've got this nice shower caddy. Not too hard to put together. You gotta be a little strong to be able to twist the thing, but it only comes with like these little shelves. So if you have like a lot of like shampoo and conditioner or like you're sharing with someone who does, highly recommend one of these because um, it doesn't have the suction things, and I've heard that suction the suction cups don't always stay. Um, this is the shower. The pressure's okay. I'll do it from this side. Um, it takes a long time to heat up. I don't know if you can see it, but the pressure is not that strong. Um, but we make do. Then we'll start in Liv's room. We'll just go right next door. So this is what it looks like after it's decorated. She did move some furniture around, but she's got a nice view of Tower 4 because we are on the corner. So we go down and we can see Liv's room and then we go around the side and we can see my room. Um, tower 4, where you think is mostly athletes and stuff, um, that's our parking garage, parking garage E, um, and that's where my car is. But yeah, Liv's got all sorts of nice pretty pictures. She chose to put a curtain over her closet. Not everyone does, I don't, um, but that's if you just, like, want it to look more organized and stuff. Um, but yeah, we haven't had any room checks and they haven't been totally clear on a lot of stuff. Um, so tapestry is a question mark right now, but like, well, this is a big wall, so I yeah. think it might be okay, but yes, like, we'll I, I don't know if they count the bed and like the, um, fridge or whatever, um, yeah, but Liv does have a mini fridge, and it is within regulation, she's got one of these thingies, which is super cool, and, oh, and you have the, the hangy thing in your closet, do you want to oh, show that? Right. Here. Kind of, um, down here. Yeah, so one of these neat, neat little things, it's got a little hanger here for short little things, but then extra space, which is, I could probably use some of this, because you'll see I've got some stuff up on top, but looks good, looks nice. My mom noticed that she had more dresses than me and told me to grab more dresses from home, but I was like, I don't wear a lot of dresses, Mom. But yeah, so that's what A looks like, where it lives very pretty room. And we'll go into my room right next door. The sound isn't that bad, like... Like, I don't hear, we don't hear a whole lot, and I do have this fan that I do use just, like, as white noise and, like, background noise. Um, I used it at home because uh, sound was really bad at home. Um, but this is how I set up my room. I don't have a curtain over there, but I am short, so when I reach my hoodies and stuff. I, ha I, bought, I bought an ottoman. Um, I've got my uh, laundry basket with the things that come up that's in my, you see in my dorm hall video. I my load of laundry is in right now, so I don't have any dirty clothes. I got this shoe rack at Target. Decently cheap. Holds all my shoes. Um, these are my beds and pillows. My white comforter is there. This is a mirror I got. Um, I showed you in my move-in video, but not in any of the others. I got it at Habitat for Humanity. Super cheap. Same place I got the whiteboard. Um, so that's pretty cool. When I first moved in, the desk was turned and up against this wall, and the bed was in the corner. Like, if you turn it 90 degrees. Um, but yeah, I never showed, like, a final thing. Especially because, like, I just put the, these posters up the other the other day. I actually did this myself. I'm very proud of it. It was really hard. Um, 
But yeah, I've got my desk. I'm still figuring stuff out. We did get go and get succulents. Liv and I are very proud plant moms. Um, we've got like little water for them. But I did have most of this stuff up on the windowsill, but then when I went to close it, it like hit some of it. So I was like, all right. But I haven't been sitting here long enough to like figure out where stuff goes. Um, hence why I moved in Saturday, but then posted the videos thir the Thursday after, because we've just been super busy. Um, in my move-in video, oh, well, there's my wonderful thing. I did say about how I needed to get mail and like all these other things. Well, turns out the mail center was closed when we got there, so I didn't get, to we set up our PO boxes on Monday. Um, I had packages to pick up. I had my parking pass to do. Um, and so that, those are something, oh, good, and, like we've been to Publix and the store and Target. And so our days have been pretty busy this past week, but we're starting to calm down now, which is why we're doing all of this. Um, what else was I looking for? Oh, oh, the cabinets. The cabinets aren't that bad. Uh, I think they're pretty deep. Um, I'll show you the inside of the dishwasher. It's a, it's a really nice dishwasher, I will say. Um, the, the oven is pretty good. Um, we haven't really filled out everything yet, especially because the roommates that are moving in this weekend are bringing stuff. Um, the middle cabinets have shelves and then these do not but I went they're super tall and super deep so I went and got these from Target I've got two of them um and so I've got stuff on those um I've got this for like you know regular stuff um don't need to explain too much I I did not think it through with the soap stuff like, like hand soap so we've only got one of those but a second one is on the way I, we did order one so we'll have matching soap snail buddies. We've got tile from the kitchen down through the bathroom, but the bedrooms are all carpet and the common area is all carpet. So definitely if, um, if you can bring a vacuum. I got a handheld vacuum here for like if we spill like chips and stuff. Um, you do get like the little table and then like, which it did not come with a TV. My friend gave me an old TV of his because uh, he's moving and stuff. And it was a whole thing. Um, you can't move the cushions. I mean, the furniture all moves really easy. Um, we bought these placemats. But it, you can arrange it however you want. Outlets are pretty decent. Um, I think I have like three or four outlets in my bedroom at least. And I know there's by the desk there's a big... Yeah, you've got your ethernet port and you've got one with four and then there's one back there of two. There's none on this wall I have, I know that. And then I've got two there. Um, so I definitely have plenty cause I, and I also have like extension cords and pl plugs and stuff. Um, but I think there's plenty of space. Um, I'll show you something that, those, these are, oh shoot, that's my laundry. <laughs> Um, I guess I can show you the laundry room, um, but these are how deep the drawers go. I think they're pretty deep. You get one, two, three, four, five of them, and then plus the top, which is, has a lot. Um, I guess we're going to the laundry room because I got to put, I got to do the vinegar in my rinse cycle. So stay tuned when I take you to the laundry room. Okay, got your mask. I've got my ID. I don't need my keys, my phone, or my wallet because I'm just going down the hall. But I've got my ID and my mask. So let's go. Make sure that doesn't slam. Hoping eventually we can put something there, but just the hallway. We've got a staircase here, and at the when we take it all the way down, it goes down to the trash and stuff, so it's really easy to take trash out for us. Um neighbors we haven't really met anybody yet except the one neighbor because he's um in a group chat with Liv so they've been talking and stuff um there's a lot of people in this room we, like we've seen them and like heard them when we walk by oh I forgot the vinegar I'm so dumb I forgot the vinegar <laughs> Okay, going out again, I've got vinegar this time, if you're wondering why I need vinegar for my laundry, it's because I use the Castile soap, or the Castile soap, 
I showed you in my dorm hall video and that soap says to use um, vinegar for I don't know why but it says to put vinegar in the rinse cycle so I just lift the lid and pour a little bit of vinegar in I don't measure it even though it says to this is the laundry room down there and to the right is the not all the way down but like halfway down to the right is the is the elevators but this is the laundry room we've got three washers I'm using that one you've got four dryers all of the information so there's like an app you get and you put money on that and you put the location in in the building and there's like little information things this is the view from the laundry room. It's just down, just down the hall. A little bit of the same view, a little nicer. You can see the sunset kind of over in Knights Plaza. Is it about to start the cycle? Yes, perfect timing. So I'll put this down while I do that. Okay, I just did a few glugs of vinegar. Might have been too much, but I'm still feeling out how much I need. They have hand sanitizer here. I'm holding stuff so I can't. The lights are all sensors, but. Bye-bye, I'll be back in a few to put you in the dryer. They are limited right now to two people. So, we have a little like QR code um, for the group me for the floor, but I think they're old, I don't know. I tried to do one on Saturday when we moved in, but it said um, invalid. So I don't know if that one's updated or if it's new or what, we still haven't met. The RA specifically for this floor yet. We've met some of the ones downstairs for I think the first and third floors. Um, but yeah, still haven't met fourth floor RA yet. I think his name is Kendry, but I guess we'll find out. You get to see another clip of me coming in. Did it not work? Okay, and I'm back. If you're looking for more Tower 3 stuff, um, please leave a comment. I will do my best to see what I'm allowed to do. If I can show you the lobby, I will definitely show you the lobby. I know when I was looking for Tower 3 stuff, I, there was nothing. So I want this to be for you guys who are looking to come to UCF who want a glimpse into Tower 3 life. Definitely show you guys. If you want to see, um, I'll, I'll probably do a campus tour at some point on my electric skateboard. Um, but if you want me to go somewhere specific, please let me know. I will see what I can do if I'm allowed to bring cameras certain places. I'm not sure yet. Um, but if there's something non-UCF related or whatever you want to see, leave a comment. Let me know. If you leave a comment otherwise, please try to keep it positive. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It means a lot to me because um, I do this more for me than for you. Um, Please subscribe if you'd like. Um, I won't make you turn the notification bell on because that's annoying. But I would like to announce that my collab YouTube and podcast I'm doing with my friend Dakota, College and Planet, we now have our first few episodes out. So go check it out. Spotify, iTunes, Stitcher, whatever you listen to podcasts on, go listen to College and Planet. First videos like behind the scenes and some other stuff should be up soon. I know we have a stat video that is finishing up editing and stuff so and go check us out on instagram college and planet twitter i think college and plan one um we're all over the place follow my instagram amanda duh dot zero one um and i'll post everything there um and dakota is dakota page h is p-a-g-e so go follow us go listen um and if you're an underclassman and want questions for us for college students or my roommate, who's an out-of-state student, I'm sure she wouldn't mind if I asked her a couple questions. Um, please let me know. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye. Bye.